Hey guys, it's me. It's David D Alec Duverville. It's um 1.45 in the morning and I'm finally by myself. It doesn't sound that crazy to be by yourself at 1.45 in the morning, but this has been a crazy week and it's been pretty hectic and there's been a lot of people around me telling me what to do, how to give advice, how to address my fans, the public, my subscribers, my lovers, my bros. And um, I just wanted to talk to you, just kind of sit right here and address what has been put out against me, the allegations. Uh, I'm not good at doing this. I'm not good at apologies. Uh, so um, I just wanna, I, I just wanna, um, I don't wanna defend myself rather than I just wanna come out and be honest. What I did, um, when uh, the victim test came out against me with allegations of sexual assault, everyone in the village kind of went crazy and i just want to kind of address that problem and i just want to let you know that i believe the woman that came out i believe her story uh and i thought that i had consent i i didn't see it as sexual assault but i'm not here to place blame i'm not gonna blame her even though that's definitely something that should be looked at um i just want to sit here and uh take the blame so I'm not going to take it back, what I did. I'm not going to say I would have done anything differently, you know? Uh, her safety is very important to me. Her values are very important to me. And I want to apologize. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was completely disconnected from the fact that when people were invited to film videos with us, especially videos, that were serious it was creating an unfair power dynamic i'm so sorry oh, i cut the camera um i am sorry for making a joke out of this again i'm not going to take it back what happened happened i invalidated her i invalidated her life i just want to say this sorry I just, I want to reinforce the fact that this kind of behavior is not okay. And I want to apologize to my friends and my family for the decision that I have chosen to make. I'm not saying that I, it was the most brilliant choice I've ever made, but I have decided to stop appearing publicly for the next 30 chapters. Cut the cameras. And it's clear that I've moved on. The public hasn't, and it's okay. I'm here to support everyone. I'm here to support Tess. And I grew from it. I've grown as a person. Tess, I know you're still a little bit immature. It's okay, you'll grow. I'm sorry. It's just gross, but she made me do and I'm not gonna take it back but it won't happen again it won't and I hold myself accountable to the situation that I was put in the situation that some people see as me raping sorry trigger word raping Tess Derbergle all the social media going around all the pamphlets all of the newsletters going around i just wanted to address the public and say that i am sincerely sorry to put her in any kind of discomfort it doesn't feel right to go back to um the original alec derbyville so i will be taking a 30 chapter break and i'm gonna look back at this and i'm gonna be pissed that something that i didn't say wasn't said because i'm so sorry and i I feel like it's missing something and maybe it's your apology test, but it's just whole crazy what's going on right now. I didn't mean to rape her. Okay, bye.